Hello, my name is Duduzi Lendlobo, and I am a Newton Advanced Fellow. Today, I am going to share with you poetry that has been written as part of the Moving Words Research Project. The Moving Words Research Project is um, a project in Johannesburg that is using poetry to explore the city of Johannesburg. I'm going to tell you about this project and at the same time read you some of the poems that have come out of this project. So the project invited women to come together in poetry workshops and write poetry about the city. The first poem is called Thoughts on Johannesburg. And this is a poem um, that came together using words from multiple women as they responded to the question, what's the first thought that you get when you think about Johannesburg? Thoughts about Johannesburg. Johannesburg is like a temperamental teenager. The morning anger of traffic. Cold in the morning, hot in the afternoon, cold again at night. The strikes and raids. Women hardly feel safe here. It is full of opportunities, broken dreams, survival and entitlement. Diversity, Africa and Africaness. It's a land of milk and honey, a world-class city maybe. Dirty streets and urban decay, migrants from the globe, dreamers, movers and shakers. Broad-shouldered Johannesburg, sustaining even those who are outside your borders. You are good. And the bed found in you, you shoulder it nonetheless. So poetry allowed us to um, express our experiences of the city, how we experience the city through the senses, smells, feelings, um, thoughts and emotions about our fears, happiness, um, as well as talking about spirituality within the city. And this next poem reflects on the anxiety of moving across the city in a taxi. Why are they always in a rush? Why are they always in a rush? I mean, they are always in a rush. Why don't they give way? Why do they skip red robots? They are always in a rush. Maybe they just like rushing. But why? Why do taxi drivers always in a rush? I am a migration scholar in Southern Africa and my work has mainly focused on the movement of people. And to tell you a little bit of the inspiration of how does a migration scholar end up exploring how women experience the city of Johannesburg, let me ask you a question. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word migrant? Who's the first person you imagine when you think about a migrant? In the context of my work, I found that a lot of the times when we think about a migrant, we would always imagine someone who is male and someone who has crossed an international border. And, and so we really think about a woman as a migrant and would really think about someone who's moved from one city to another, from one part of the country to another, but within the same country as a migrant. And so we decided to explore um, the city from the perspective of 
the one we least likely to expect to be a migrant, women. And the next poem reflects on arrival in Johannesburg. It is titled Joburg. Joburg. I was a tourist and you welcomed me, nestling me into your bosom like I was your one and only. You nourished me, feeding me with endless opportunities, daring me to tap into it all. You lured me, Johannesburg. I forgot to live. Seduced by your power, enthralled by your beauty, captivated by your grandeur, mesmerized by your business. You ensnared me, Joburg. Filling my pockets with gold, teaching me to be streetwise, bold just as twice, I burst in newfound freedom. Yes, city of gold, you became my undoing as much as you made me. So when we think about people, when we think about migrants and people that have moved, we tend to think that the person who's moved across international borders um, has a, a much harder time than the person who's moved from one part of the country to another. But actually research in Johannesburg was beginning to tell a different story that sometimes whether you've moved from out of the province from another city or you've moved from another country, you're facing similar challenges. And so this project, by inviting women who live in Johannesburg, was exploring whether there would be differences depending on whether a woman was from outside the country or from another province or someone had been born in Johannesburg. And the next poem, in contrast to the previous, who says her pockets were lined with gold by Johannesburg, She's asking the city, where is the gold? City of gold? It's the buzz, the headache, the noise, the smell. Yo! Agupele nyama, agupele mazi Is this the city of gold? Johannesburg? Where is your gold? This project is still ongoing and we will have a link to the project website and we invite you to come and, and find more of the poems that we've produced from the poem and learn more about this project. And the last poem is called The Jobic Breeze. The Joburg breeze. The thing about chaos is that it freaks me out. The noise, cars and people, they numb my senses. I condition myself to walk straight. Only look where I am going. To run when the people run. To smell as little as I can if I intend to eat later. To never eat while I walk especially in Joburg, to look over injustices, to remember not to touch anything, lest I might need a hand sanitizer. But there is a calmness I feel in the streets I cannot deny. The smell of rain within the breeze reminding me of Mornings growing up, watching my grandmother sweep the yard. The natural scent of the soil. The breeze lingers behind the chaos, like jazz music, loud enough to appreciate the instrument, yet calm to give thoughts some space. 
This calming breeze reminds me of the sound of my flute after a bad day. This Jobek breeze will always be my home. Thank you for watching and please do comment and share if any of these poems have triggered thoughts, memories or feelings about your current city or a city that you've lived in before. Goodbye.